What's happening? It's Messed Up's Corner. This is the race episode. And no, we're not talking about R-A-C-E. We're talking about the rapper R-A-Y-C-E. Um, yeah, we started off talking about his traveling man EP. He tells me a story about his travels out there. Um, man, just a great, great story. Um, I learned a lot about, you know, just the opportunities that you can have as an independent artist uh, when you're not even looking for them. And as, you know, many people out there like to say that there is very limited opportunities, the, the more I do this podcast, the more I'm finding that there's unlimited possibilities on how to come up, and everyone's got their own path. You know, we dive deeper. Uh, we just start off talk, talking about um, his traveling overseas, but then we get into topics like um, school reformations. Uh, we talk about, uh, you know, battling addiction, getting caught up, spending some time, um, you know, uh, locked up, and, you know, what that you know, did for uh, him, you know, as far as uh, giving him time to think and, and evaluate his life and you know, get him right back to to the grind. So, um, yeah, definitely a blessing to have talked with uh, Race. Um, he's a great rapper and, um, you know, he's a real humble dude with a lot to share. So, you know, without further ado, let's get into it. Radio interviews, feature videos, magazines trying to review and quote what I spoke. Go on the flip side, I'm headed up to this high. Trying to get this college finished, but don't even know why. Constantly spiraling, creating more irony while doing shows elsewhere called Hometown and my City. Not the best or a star, just another one from this worldwide community under the sun. Conducting business crash course style while fakes try to book me like I got cash in piles. Keep your drink tickets, I'm on a higher mission, trying to go coast to coast off little more than in a vision. I want to light the fuse that strikes the move to self-improve, similar to improv, no matter how improbable. Overstand the open land brings a new audience, only cut short for those unwilling to cooperate. One life full of goals and options, I keep that in mind while I flip these topics. What work today may not tomorrow, devoted to the moment, living on time. Blatantly don't care for most people's opinions Because I see no relevance or fact-based evidence Oh, you like to politic, say you know what knowledge is Well, I could do the same, but that's outright arrogance People die, some close, some overseas But I'm only supposed to care for those the news is covering Bombs rain in Bahrain, but it's okay We've got bigger problems, there's immigrants trying to stay Short-sighted memories and cancers for no reason Pollutants in the water and these GMOs we eating A pair of horse and doors that'll last throughout the seasons Formulating consent and who gets labeled as a heathen It's all so scary, I think I eat another pill I need a the rapist to dispense scripts at will Ah, there we go, back to the void So nice when real life we can avoid One life full of goals Options I keep that in mind while I flip these topics. What work today may not tomorrow. Devoted to the moment, living on time. Barbo. Still pledge no allegiance, even at the cost of lesions. Some things are just worth no longer breathing. Hold it in until lungs gasp for more Just to emulate the state in which I burst from the core Stimulate the green and watch toxins blossom The roots show proof for the malignant are positive Encouraged to flourish before sirens chime in As I preempt the strike against restricted visitation A mouthful to spout, rarely ever doubtful Wanna see that cup run it's washed up at half full Crossing over in an objective fashion All access until once again I vanish Across the planet, down the street, up the block, or anywhere in between. Elusive, but my two cents still cling. A nuisance, but when I'm gone, you'll miss me. One life full of goals and options. I keep that in mind while I flip these topics. 
what works today may not tomorrow devoted to the moment living on time tomorrow I just got done listening to a uh, traveling man, uh, the EP. Uh, first, first off, I gotta say I enjoyed it. I can't really compare it to anything, which is for me um, as a fan, as a listener. I like that. I like when I hear something. I'm like, this is really unique. This is this uh, unique man's vision right here, and um, that that's the feeling I got from listening to it. I listened to it a couple of times. It's a quick listen, and um, yeah, man, it's it's. It's definitely some real hip hop. So, uh, what, what inspired you to come up with that title? Yeah, man. First off, I appreciate it. Thank you. And then uh, the title, pretty much, what that came from was originally the way I got connected with. Cause, I mean, all the beats on there are from my people out in Croatia, and I'd gotten connected with them through a friend I have here in Oxnard. He had me do a feature on one of their songs called Rebel MC for a project they put out completely separately. So at that time, I had no clue what was going to become between myself and these people in Croatia. I just figured it was a feature for someone's track, and it would be left at that. A few months go by. I didn't really hear too much. And then they finally released the project, and I got hit up by their executive production team as well as the individual producers that they have. We kind of went back and forth on what kind of beats I would want if we were to put together a project, whether to do an album, a single, or an EP. I told them, you know, I, I kind of like to give people something that's, that's real concise, something you can listen to in your car while you're on your way somewhere. Or, you know, if you just feel like bumping some shit and maybe you don't have time to listen to a full-on album, I want to make it something to where it can be track-by-track track standalone. So that nice. Name, that's yeah, that's that a fucking crazy kinda... story. So you, you're linking that with these people from Croatia. I'm sorry I'm a little ignorant, man. I don't even know where fucking Croatia is. Like, where is Cro- Croatia? It's out like, um, like pretty much Eastern Europe, kind of like middle Eastern Europe area. So this is like, is it like, so they, I know they speak Croatian there because I've heard that word right. before. And yeah. it is, so it's like a European kind of Russian kind of almost like, you know, area. That, that's where it's at. Yeah, it's definitely very, I mean, if you were to try and, yeah, because I know when I first, I was I was very ignorant as well on, on all the geographics for that. But as I started to look into it and then as, as I got to travel, I mean not, not all the way to Croatia but definitely to, to Germany and France, then that's when I kinda saw, you know, like Western Western Europe is kinda more the metropolitan what we see in movies and stuff. To where I think Croatia, Russia, all that like Eastern Europe areas are more uh, I guess like is desolate looking, but still like a lot of cool people, very humble. That's that's tight, man. It's tight that you linked up with them. So you you mentioned um, you talked to some of their producers. Uh, is it was there a record label that you were talking to out there in Croatia? Well, they had a yeah, they have a, a crew kind of. What it is is the main dude is a DJ. He runs a nightclub out there in Croatia. He goes by BRC. Crew was wild. Skali Maleko. So what they do is pretty much, he has a bunch of different producers. He produces as well, but then he also DJs the nightclub. He kind of gets different people from the States as well as just people touring Europe that are from Europe. So he, he does his thing. He works with a lot of people out here in, in Cali as well. I mean, he's with the guy that introduced me to him, but then also some people from the 818 area, some people from L.A. area. So it was really cool to know that, you know, I'm not the only one connecting the dots. Yeah, that's fucking badass, man, that there's a dude out in Croatia that's booking, you know, rappers. Um, he's got a nightclub out there, 
and he's just trying to put together some fucking uh, some real hip hop shows. And he's 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 doing the the work, man. The, the, you know, promoters are so damn lazy. Um, you know, not all of them, but just to hear something like that just surprises me so much, man. That someone's just putting in that work and just uh, recruiting, you know, talented people uh, that you know are just uh, you know from the underground too. It's fucking awesome. Um, oh yeah, that's what I mean. For me, it was uh, like Rebel MC was supposed to be the original title. The uh, the local producer I was working with kind of wanted to build off of that Rebel MC feature track that I did so that the people in Croatia would kind of remember me from that. Uh-huh. But, I mean, it just seemed a little bit too cliche because, like, my shit is more, I guess, conscious, underground. It used to be real political. Now it's just kind of more, like, everyday type stuff. But, you know, I thought Rebel MC was just, like, way too cliche. Like, that's that's just, like, some shit you would expect from a backpacker. Yeah, um, that's that's wild. That's that's the tra- tra- uh, traveling man is a perfect title for what you got there because uh, yeah. you 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 did go out there on tour inside Europe. Um, how did that uh, go down? How did that transpire? That was actually a local, another local buddy of mine from Oxnard, but he 